G'day guys, welcome back to Aquaponic Gardens here in Switzerland. Um, to show you what I've been up to today, uh, they, just so you turn you around. Um, as you might have noticed in my last video, I just had um, these three, um, what do you call it? Sorry, three um, tanks. When we kill the fish, we put them in here to. Yeah, sorry, the Germans. Well, he's getting low. Purge the fish. He said 3,000 liters, holding 80 kilos per cubic, 100 kilos per cubic. I get about 100 kilos in each one. I need to be killing about half a ton of fish per week. Um, so I've extended this through this pipe here. We'll go through to the next tank here. Happening today. Um, same deal. Inflow, outflow, the solid touching overflow. I've left the bottoms totally open this time, just put a cable tie in between so the fish can't get up there, the fish will be quite big by the time they come into here. Into another, into another, and then into another, and then I dive at the water through to just before the, the drum filter, which was originally my idea, but the drum filter came late, so we dive out better to the biofilter for temporary. Um, now I'm extending it, so it's going to be finished. Very simple design, there'll be an air pump flowing about 600 litres a minute, more, into these tanks. Um, this is some big air stones. It's going to be well aerated, this water's all heated before it goes through. And it goes in before the drum, drum filter and back. Okay, today I'm going to be doing a bit of a how to build a semi-commercial filter system for Aquaculture or aquaponics. Aquaponics is just a system um, further extended to a plant bed as well. Here with seven tanks, um, the dirty water comes into the green pipe, into the biofilter, uh, to the drum filter. This is a 40 micron drum filter. Takes out any of the particles. Water, clean water will then pass through into here, and I'm um, putting a a couple of elbows here because there, it's a UV lamp in the filter there. And then it comes in, this has got many slip cuts put into the pipe. Um, lets the water flow through nice and easily. Big air stone, one pump, 40 litres a minute. Um, Sends up overflow, has another pipe on here, long pipe. There's an end cap and then lots of slip like cuts put into it, nice wide cuts. Um, there's not big enough for media to go through. Comes into the second biofilter. I uh, extended this a few months ago. Um, this uh, loading was a little bit too heavy for the filter. Um, now, once again, separate air stone, two separate um, pumps. Um, when you're 40 liters a minute, they don't use very much power, about uh, 40 watts. Very high quality, high pressure. There's quite a big one meter long air stain in the bottom of the filter there. Go from one corner to the other. It gives it a good flowing motion. There's a little bit too little water in the system or a little bit too uh, little, uh, much media. But it's not really a dead zone. They get um, stirred up slowly but not quite quick enough. Down here is the pump. Um, you can see this is going through one pipe and the next to another one into here. No media comes through. Water's pumped in through here into the oxygen concentrator. I need to bypass it to clean the oxygen concentrator. Just got a quick bypass put into here. It drives it straight through the heating element there. Um, the water's first pumped in through one pipe all the way down the bottom. There's a slightly bigger pipe in there, so the bubbles get blown through with the venturi. So it's got an electronic venturi here, and we're pumping pure oxygen into the top, and this air bubble goes through the venturi, comes in with the water, um, mixes it at a very high pressure down the bottom. The small bubbles will have to come back up again, and only small bubbles that are totally saturated into the water make its way all the way down to the bottom again because the big bubbles will rise much much quicker of course. So the very fine bubbles that are totally mixed, like 300% saturated, comes down, 
to the outflow pipe because it's under pressure, it'll push itself back up. Um, pump, pumping 30,000 litres an hour here. And through this, just another bypass if you want to slow, make some controls, slow the water down. And also, if I'm cleaning the, this, maybe I'll turn that off. It's very important. Two taps to turn off that. So I can undo them here. We're putting the um, screws. So you can just unscrew these, take that away, go clean it. This algae is one reason why we clean it, but why the plastics around it act a little bit. I'll take you down to a much more basic um, system. Still the same method of with biomedia, but this one is aquaponics. So I tend to like um, I'm holding, you know, I should love drum filters, but uh, this is more of a budget system. The plants growing here, so it's pretty interesting. Well, okay, I'll put yellow blinks in my iron today. Okay, here we have the, start here. Dirty water runs in through the orange pipe, comes through this filter. Dirty water runs in there, it's basically a vortex filter, spins around. So they don't really have any light. Um, you've seen that one of my other videos, this is a... It's a basically a um, micron filter. And it sits at the top of the outflow pipe. Um, water passes through the micron, 200 micron. It's not so fine, but it does the job. Clean water sucks them inside of the barrel, the sieve, and it cleans, turns these rotor arms. You really can't see it very well. Hopefully, this comes out a bit better on. Um, sorry. Hope it comes out a bit better on the computer for you. Uh, water is taken through this pipe down here, into here. Um, again, biofilter with moving bed biomedia. This is the um, best quality. Um, we have 750, 750 um, square meters, 1,000 liters. Um, so 75 per 100 liters. Uh, 750 per 100 liters. I oh, know. Yeah. So, I'll have the numbers. I'll post that for you. 750 um, square meters per cubic meter per thousand liters. Not per cubic meter per thousand liters. Um, so in here, I have about 600 liters and gives me quite a good amount of surface area. Water comes through there nice and clean into the pump tank, comes back up to this pipe, up through here and into the grow bed for one. It's just got a bit of a fine filter there to really take out the fine particles, dead bacteria and so. You plug up the beds too much. The rest of the water is diverted through this heater. It doesn't work all, at all. Um, room is heated so the tanks are heated as well. Um, through to each fish tank. Fish are looking really good. As you can see, it's really dark near the start of winter. Um, and you can see the fish there. Bloody lot of fish in there, about 3,500 in there at the moment. A um, couple of hundred and a couple of hundred biggest fish. Okay, guys. Um, always remember to use the filter no matter what you do, even in um, aquariums and so I just use the external filters here. I, run, um, I exchange my water in there four times an hour, I've actually got two of them running at the same time, they use very little power and if I want to clean one I leave the other one running, it keeps the biofiltration nice and high and um, I can really clean one out well. Okay guys. Um, if I want to have a grow bed, I'll just pump that up onto the grow bed and just come back down to the sand, you know, with gravity and then siphon back out again. Um, I've done it with a lot of aquaponic systems, worked really well. Okay guys, um, I'll do a video on breeding in the next few days. 
Um, these fish, uh, hold, uh, about four or five of them are holding eggs now. Um, a few of them are already turned into baby fish. There's one of the mothers holding an eggs there. Trying to hold it nice and still. I don't think she's going to show us. We're very camera shy, but um, yeah, she doesn't want to show us. Okay guys, talk to you soon and thanks for watching. And stay tuned next week for the tilapia breeding video. Okay guys, thanks, bye.